the holidays, many people have purchased smartphones. When I first began using my smartphone, I wondered how smart I had to be to use the phone. It turned out that I wasn't having problems understanding how to use the internet on my phone, but rather the customer service representative put the wrong plan code on my account, which was causing problems with my service. When that was fixed, the road has since been smooth. I never really wanted a smartphone. I thought the idea of touching the screen was insane. I always tell my kids to not touch the computer monitor or the television because it causes smudges and here I was with a phone that was about to get smudged up every time I touched it, despite how many times I washed my hands. The oil from our hands always seems to leave a mark. The other day, I placed my phone on the charger, and when I returned, I noticed a very interesting smudge. I saw the cross. I thought it was interesting how clear it was on the phone. Now, please don't start thinking I'm going to continue on to tell you about Jesus' image on a toast. I know it was the oil from my hand that made the cross, and I know it was my phone usage that caused it. The fact is that I made the shape of the cross all the time on my phone. Most do not do that. I watch numerous people and they do a tap system with smaller swipes. Nonetheless, it matters not how I was doing it differently, but that there was this continuous checking. A vertical swipe to see if there were any notifications. A horizontal swipe to maneuver through the screens, back and forth. At the end of all that seeking, I had the cross. That coincides with my point, which is that it is the cross that gave us the opportunity to seek God, and yet I wasn't making the cross on my phone to seek God. I was looking for other things. I wasn't taking things to God. I was sending text messages and chatting on Facebook. After a moment, I thought of how we too often do not take things to God. We are always seeking our own solutions. We have our vertical swipe to see if possibly we can fix it on our own. We have our horizontal swipe to see if a friend can give us the answer. We have problems with looking to God. Even when we know that He is bigger than any problem, we don't take it to Him. Sometimes when we do take it to Him, we have our own agenda. And when we start to hear His, we switch screens with another swipe. When Christ was on the cross, he thought of you and he thought of me. He made sure that his number was entered into our SIM card. We were not forced to place a call or send a message, but the door was there to open at any time. The door is still there. When we stop swiping and start looking, we can see it. When we turn off the ringer to our phone and allow the Spirit to guide us, there will surely be no desire to swipe away. Our burden will be lifted. No matter how big a problem, we know we have victory with Christ. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 1557.